All right, now that the football season is over, D-Day, four weeks away. The NFL is bracing for its first labor interruption in nearly a quarter of a century. It was back in 1987 when the scabs were used as replacement players for three games. So here we go again, folks. Billionaire owners against millionaire players. It is impossible to identify with either side. All we care about is our football, and these greedy you-know-what are trying to take it away from us. In a nutshell, here's what the squabble is all about. The players currently get 59.5% of all revenues, and I know that's ludicrous, but don't blame the players. The owners gave it to them in the last labor agreement, and now they want to take it back. The owners are asking for a 16% rollback in revenues. 16% would represent a billion dollars a year for seven years. No way, Jose. It ain't happening. The players would be out of their minds to give that back. The same owners want to add two games to the schedule, pushing the regular season to 18 games. The players want no part of that because of the injury factor. Plus, the owners are trying to tack on more work, less pay. You watch now, folks. The owners are going to lock them out on March 4th. Everything will shut down except the draft in April. It makes absolutely no sense. NFL TV audience is 30% larger than it was two years ago. The NFL draft in primetime last year drew more viewers than the NBA playoffs. Are you ready for this one? 28 of the 30 most watched TV programs this past fall were NFL games. Super Bowl last night drew the largest rating in 15 years. Yet the owners say the business model is broken. That is a bunch of hogwash. Why do these owners then refuse to open their books? If I'm choosing sides, I'm locking in with the players, and I'm going to do it right now. They are the game. Without the players, there will be no games. So don't you guys dare cave in on this one. You've got the hammer. Screw the owners. That's Jack Smack.